Let's apply these concepts in a few questions that have been part of CAT in the previous years. Let ABC be a right triangle with hypotenuse BC of length 20 cm. AP is perpendicular on BC. What is the maximum possible length of AP? Now understand this very very clearly. We know that half of the hypotenuse is circumradius. So if I point, you know, this is the midpoint, let's say D, then this is the circumradius. Circumradius in this case will be half of 20. So this is 10. Now let's see this triangle. In the triangle ADP, you know, if AP moves towards AD, the maximum that it can get is equal to 10. Therefore, safe to mark answer option A. Let P be an interior point of a right angled isosceles triangle ABC with hypotenuse AB. We have perpendicular distance of P from each of the sides is 4 root 2 minus 1. Happens in case of in radius. So in radius is 4 into root 2 minus 1. This is an isosceles right triangle. So this is X, this is X, this is root 2X. Also a special type of right triangle 45, 45, 90. Small r here we know a plus b minus c by 2. So this becomes 2x minus root 2x by 2. So we just equated 2x minus root 2x by 2 is equal to 4 into root 2 minus 1. Let's take uh, root 2x common. So root 2 minus 1 is equal to 8 into root 2 minus 1. So this gets cancelled. So x becomes 4 root 2. So what's the area? Half into 4 root 2 into 4 root 2. So this becomes 32 by 2. The answer is 16. I hope all the questions are clear.